Hello, I'm Dr. Maya Hatton. Thanks for joining us for our video, Early Onset Breast Cancer Part 2, Risk Reduction and Warning Signs. If you haven't seen Part 1, Introduction and Risk Factors, I suggest watching that first. Whether your risk for early onset breast cancer is high or average, there are things you can do to manage your risk, even at a young age. If you think you are at high risk for getting breast cancer early, talk to your doctor about it. Watch the video on risk factors to learn more. You are in the best position to know when something changes in your body or if something doesn't feel right. Know how your breasts look and feel at different times in your cycle. And if you notice any unusual changes, talk to your doctor. For instance, if you feel a new lump in your breast or armpit, something that feels like it wasn't there before. If your breast thickens or swells. If the skin of your breast is feeling irritated or if it's dimpling. If the skin on your breast or nipple area becomes red or flaky. If your nipple inverts, that's when your nipples go down into the skin instead of sticking out. Or if you experience any pain in the nipple area. If your nipple discharges liquid other than breast milk, including blood. If your breast changes in size or shape. If you experience any pain in any area of your breast. Remember, always talk to your doctor right away if you notice any of these warning signs or symptoms. But what else can you do to reduce your risk? This gets a bit trickier because aside from family history and genetics, Little is known about what causes breast cancer under the age of 45. However, we do know some steps you can take to help reduce the risk of getting breast cancer. Studies show that the risk for breast cancer increases with the amount of alcohol you drink. Drinking less alcohol, either by cutting it out entirely or limiting yourself to no more than one alcoholic drink per day, can help reduce your risk. Breastfeeding any children you have can help lower your risk. Being overweight or having obesity increases your risk for breast and ovarian cancer. I know you hear this a lot, but taking care of yourself by maintaining a healthy weight, being physically active, and eating a healthy diet can go a long way toward reducing your risk. Lack of nighttime sleep is a risk factor for breast cancer. Make getting seven or more hours of sleep a night a health priority. These may be things you hear all the time, and I know it can be a lot to think about. But being aware, taking these steps, and talking to your doctor can reduce your risk for developing breast cancer. For more information, see our resources section in the description below.